You're not eating them? I'm not hungry. I'm dreading this meeting today. But enough family therapy to last me a lifetime. I'll be all right. Do you really think that? She could have told them all sorts. Well, what did you say last week? It's just um, an informal chat thingy. So it's nothing to stress about. I'll be glad when it's over. Yeah, and it will be. Tonight, I mean, we'll get her home here and we'll have some spag ball and that'll be it, be all done. I don't just mean today, I mean the whole thing. It's like... It's like he's still here. Callum. The sooner today's over with, the better, whatever happens. Oh, yeah? Do you want some toast? I've got the marmalade without the bits in. No, thanks. Not hungry. Oh, um... Gail got Sally to print some of your CVs off. She got you looking for a summer job. Mm. Yeah. You're going to be all right handing them out? What do I have to do it today? Well, the early bird catches the best work. I'm fine. Do you remember when you were a kid and the summer felt like it lasted a million years? Yeah. Now it just flies by, doesn't it? And it rains all the time. Summer's just as rubbish as the rest of the year. So, Sarah, would you like to discuss how you feel your time in the war's been going? Okay, um... It's been good. Hey, well, fine. Stop worrying. Now, one of the benefits of having your family here for this meeting is that it shows you, Sarah, that you, you have a support network. Well, she knows that. Of course she does. We're her family. Yeah, but wouldn't she be better having a support network at home rather than stuck in here? No. No. I don't... I don't want to come home. Well, not yet. And do you know why that may be, Sarah? Um, me and Harry like it here. I like the, the gardens and the fish pond and where we sit. We have our feed, yes. But why wouldn't you want to come home, sweetheart? I'm sorry, Harry. It's fine. It's good to see how you feel. Well, it's not good if she never wants to come home again, is it? Having spent some time with Sarah, it does seem that her symptoms are typical of postpartum psychosis. What's that mean, exactly? It's a mental illness. Some new mothers will experience it. But it's not her first child. She's done it before and she was fine. She was 13, Gail. Yes, and she was a lot happier. This isn't about being happy or sad. It can cause mood swings, insomnia. Well, she always slept fine, even as a baby. Postpartum psychosis can also cause a person to hear voices or believe that someone is after them or poses a danger to the child. Is that why she still thinks Callum's alive? Possibly. But you mentioned new mothers get it. I mean, is it normal? What is it? Is it just hormonal? We feel there may be something else that has contributed to Sarah's mental state. Like what? Perhaps something before Harry's birth that Sarah's been worried about. Well, it's Callum, isn't it? What? His body was found underneath my annex. It was horrible. Yeah, all right. What's important here is that Sarah feels comfortable enough with us all to discuss how she's feeling. She knows she can say anything to us. Is there something you're trying to avoid or perhaps ignore? We need to understand what you're thinking about. Please, sweetheart, if there is something, just tell us. 